Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Tyler, the Creator, won his second Grammy Award on Sunday night, April 3rd, as Call Me If You Get Lost beat out Kanye West's Donda, J. Cole's The Off Season, and Nas's King's Disease 2 to claim Best Rap Album at the 64th Annual Grammy Awards. Tyler wasn't able to attend the award ceremony in Las Vegas due to tour commitments, but he did jump on Instagram Live while on a hike to deliver an acceptance speech. After thanking those who helped the album come to life, Tyler couldn't help but rub his latest achievement in DJ Khaled's face. First off, I'm hyped. Thank you to DJ Drama. You are f***ing so important to rap music. Thank you to all of my friends for being my cheerleaders. Thank you to my whole team, the whole squad, where I could just make an album where I just flex all goddamn day. Tyler then referenced DJ Khaled's past comments about his music while humbly bragging about the success of his acclaimed Call Me If You Get Lost tour. And I know you're seething and angry and uh, no one listens to that album. These arena tours that are selling out says different. And if you put that much energy into something, maybe everyone will be proud of you too. In June 2019, DJ Khaled subliminally slighted Tyler Creator's music when Igor, which also won the Grammy for Best Rap Album, outsold his own father of a side album to claim the number one spot on the Billboard 200. I make albums so people can play it and you actually hear it. You know, driving your car, you hear another car playing it. You know, go to the barbershop, you hear them playing it. You know, turn the radio on and you hear them playing it. You know, it's playing everywhere. It's called great music. It's called albums that you actually hear the songs not no mysterious and you never hear it on your dome tyler addressed the shots during an interview with apple music zane lowe the following month saying and this is no disrespect to Khaled or anyone but this had every person in the industry everyone on that fucking album everyone everyone cardi b 21 savage travis scott post malone beyonce j everyone who sells billions of records and the fact that i beat him with this that isn't parallel to all the popping music right now was fucking crazy, bro. When Call Me If You Get Lost earned him his second number one album on the Billboard 200 two years later, Tyler trolled DJ Khaled by tweeting, mysterious music, ha. Huh? However, the former Odd Future frontman's tone changed while addressing the topic on Hot 97 in August 2021, as he described his satisfaction at watching Khaled swallow defeat. Bro, that Khaled thing was like, it was fun. It was just watching a man die inside because the under the under, the, the guy that you know the weirdo was winning. I was moonwalking in a wig. So had everyone on his album, everyone. But I didn't say nothing. I just let that number one speak. And ego had to deal with that because his whole identity is being number one. And when he didn't get that, that sat with him longer in real lifetime than that moment. I moved on. I went and did some shows. We went to London. Cool. Didn't think about it. That sat with him. And when the underdog to him, took that away from him, and the ego was deflated. He'll probably never admit it. So what do you think about Tyler Creator winning the best rap album this year at the Grammys? Do you think it was well-deserved? Also, how do you think DJ Khaled is feeling? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.